Mage builds are the best in Alden Ring. Welcome those who are new to the channel. We are starting a series of mage builds to use all the spells and the weapons for both closed and ranged combat. This is the fourth video of the sequel to continue on New Game Plus 4. This video is featuring the legendary Soul Games Dark Moon Great Sword. Once buffed, you can fire these projectiles with no FP cost for 60 seconds and deal insane damage. We plan to play a character from room level 120 in NG Plus all the way to NG plus 7 to prove how mage builds can dominate the game. In this video, we advanced our character to rune level 135 from level 130 in the previous video. This mage fought all the main bosses in new game plus 4 without getting any damage. If you are interested in how this mage build did in NG plus to NG plus 3, the videos are linked in description below. Before we go on this journey, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button to let more people to see the content, and ring that notification bell to never miss a video. Let's watch some boss fight and I'll explain the build and items later. The most important stats of the build is still intelligence and mind. We spend all 5 points to increase the intelligence from 69 to 74 to further scale our damage. Here is a quick review of all the weapons, armor, and talismans used in this build. We use a plus 10 Dark Moon Grid Sword in the right hand as our primary weapon. A plus 24 Rogers Reaper is optional in the right hand as well to get in some stagger when needed. Lucid Glinstone Staff is our go-to staff in the left hand. It has the highest scaling when your intelligence reaches 80. Using this staff increases your FP cost by 50%. Well, this is almost not noticeable in NG Plus games when you have enough mind. Any seal can work for this build. We use a Golden Order seal, which is scales with intelligent well and has zero weight. Spellblade set is our armor set, not only because it looks cool on a mage, but each piece boosted the skill damage by 2% when we use the weapon skill. As for talismans, we use guard free icon to boost our weapon skill damage by 15%, two fingers heirloom to increase face by 5 points. After we get Godric's great rune, we replace it with ritual sword talisman to boost our damage by 10% when on full HP. Magic scorpion charm to increase magic damage by 12%, Shard of Alexander to boost our weapon skill damage by another 15%. Enjoy the rest of the boss fight and have some fun.
Alrighty, hope you enjoyed the fight. Please leave your comments below to see how you want to tweak and play the build. See you in the next one.